Starship's full stack is ready to blast off. Buckle up because version 2 is also coming. In SpaceX fans, are you ready for a launch like no other? We're about to witness the first full stack for Starship's Flight 4, a giant leap toward orbital flight. But that's not all, the incredible Starship version 2 is just around the corner. In this video, we'll dive deep into the latest developments at Starbase. We'll break down the full stack process, explore the upcoming wet dress rehearsal, and discuss the exciting features of Starship version 2, including its increased fuel capacity and powerful new engines. But before we launch into the details, smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our spacefaring adventures. Let's get started. Just now, the first Flight Force full stacking was finished, which is an important step towards the flight's wet dress rehearsal. More astoundingly, the first Starship version 2 component has formally reached Starbase, meeting the pledge to deliver six prototypes this year. But fans of the Vulcan may be a little disappointed because its next flight might only be carrying a dummy cargo. As SpaceX nears the middle of May and gets ready for Mission 4, time is of the essence. The speed will only increase because Flight 4 is scheduled to take off in early June, as Kathy Lutter revealed that the launch license might be approved by late May or early June. After more than a month of planning, S-29 and B-11 have made substantial progress in recent days, moving to the launch location. Two noteworthy modifications are the installation of a new heat shield system on the spacecraft and the insertion of hot staging on the booster. After arriving on May 11th, B-11 was carried to the Orbital Launch Mount or OLL and S-29 followed a day later, tucking into the center of the chopstick with ease. However, there was a slight delay in the stacking procedure because of problems with S-31. S-29 has returned to the chopstick as of May 15th morning, signaling the end of an important step in the stacking process. It's time to stack now. The entire stacking procedure started at noon on May 15th. The chopstick system lifted S-29, corrected its alignment, and then placed it precisely at the top of B-11. This procedure, which took about an hour and a half, signified the completion of the first stack of S-29 and B-11, which arrived two months after Flight 3. SpaceX announced on their website on X that the hardware for Flight 4 has successfully stacked and is now prepared for testing. The wet dress rehearsal is scheduled to end next week, according to Kathy Lutter's recent announcement. At first, SpaceX planned to close roads from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on May 14, 15, and 16. However, the test timetable has been updated through the end of May in light of the stacking process recent completion. Several planned enhancements will be present at the next wet dress rehearsal, the main one being engine reliability. The 33 engines in the Super Heavy will run as normal to replicate the Starship's liftoff procedure. Recent wet dress rehearsal testing has gone remarkably well, with minimal engine problems noted. The dependability of the new heat shield technology on S-29 is the subject of the next much-anticipated upgrade. After the static fire test, the heat shield experienced some problems that took a long time for SpaceX to fix. To assist S-29 to withstand the highest temperature, and ideally splash down successfully, in line with Elon Musk's objectives, this heat shield is essential for Battle 4. This test is essential to confirm the efficacy of the heat shields. The OLM has also experienced major modifications such as upgrades to the clamp system and booster QD in response to B-11 static fire test. The booster QD now has a redesigned functioning mechanism and fresh fuel hoses. These systems need to show that they are dependable enough to endure the intense heat and vibrations experienced during takeoff, even though the clamp system that supported the booster during testing has been removed. An appropriate test to assess these improvements will be the wet rehearsal. The water deluge system is an important system that hasn't gotten as much attention lately. This system worked flawlessly during B-11's test and no problems were observed with it after Flight 3. SpaceX will still test it during the wet dress rehearsal to guarantee the system's dependability for the impending launch. Flight 4 is almost here, and the door has finally opened. According to Elon Musk, Starship version 1 will end at S-32 and B-14, meaning we are getting close to its last flights. Subsequently, Starship will upgrade to version 2, to produce six prototypes this year. In recent photos, a forward flap from a Block 2 spacecraft was spotted being transported by truck to Starbase, and it looked ready for assembly. According to this, SpaceX is ready to start producing version 2 right away. By the end of this year, production is anticipated to move on site to Starbase, however, the current delivery suggests that Starship parts are still being made somewhere else. Before this forward flap, Kathy disclosed 
There were other indications of version 2's impending release after the Star Factory is completely built. Two rings that were seen in early April were thought to be from version 2 and had several significant modifications. This month, Mega Bay 2 received the delivery of another ring that may have been for version 2. It was also transported to Star Base. Based on these developments, it appears that version 2 will soon be officially produced. When will it be made then? With preparations well underway and crucial components arriving at Starbase, the start of version 2 production appears to be quite close. Production work on version 2 might begin as early as next month, in my opinion. Subsequent parts will progressively arrive at Starbase in the upcoming weeks. Production on version 2 could be finished in August or September, if all goes according to plan. Please share your milestone predictions in the space below the comment section to let us know when you think version 2 will be completed. Elon Musk revealed the design of Starship version 2 at the beginning of April. The Super Heavy in the revised form will stand at 72.3 meters, with a total height of 124.401 meters. This larger size will increase the ship's fuel capacity to 1,500 tons and the Super Heavy's fuel capacity to 3,650 tons. Starship version 2 may use Raptor version 3 engines instead, which have a liftoff thrust of more than 8,000 tons. Another noteworthy improvement is the hot staging ring, which I assume will shortly be installed at Starbase and was inspired by Russian rocket designs. Thus, the prototype on which the aforementioned components, including the forward flap, will be placed is, conventionally speaking, the S-33 prototype. Nevertheless, the S-33, S-34, and S-35 prototypes have been abandoned, according to a Wikipedia update. This implies that the earliest version 2 prototype might be S-36. The next concern is the release date for version 2 after the production process. This will rely on when version 1 is released. There are now four pairs of version 1 prototypes remaining, and if things continue as they are, I think they will all fly this year. Accordingly, version 2 might be prepared for takeoff as early as Flight 8 in the following year. To allow for testing, I believe that Starship version 2 must be finished by August or September of this year. We also have a fascinating update on ULA Vulcan's next strategy. If United Launch Alliance's EULA planned payload, the Sierra Space Dream Chaser, is not ready by year's end, the Pentagon may allow EULA to launch a mass simulator on its next Vulcan Center rocket flight. After its initial launch in January, Vulcan needs to complete this mission promptly to achieve its second success. The Department of Defense will only evaluate and certify Vulcan to carry out operations related to national security once they are finished. Nearly four years have passed since EULA won a multi-billion dollar contract from the U.S. Space Force to launch 60% of the space missions for national security, and Vulcan is still not certified. ULA is now optimistic about launching Sierra Space's Dream Chaser spacecraft by October. But there are serious doubts regarding ULA's capacity to certify the Vulcan rocket and fly it at the speeds needed to fulfill its contractual commitments. Although accidental, this Vulcan problem is causing ULA's ability to complete the commitments of the National Security Space Launch Contract Phase 2 to be questioned. 25 missions that need to be completed by the year 2027 are backlogged. The American Space Force gave ULA this contract in 2020, dividing the emissions into 60% for ULA to handle over a five-year period and 40% going to SpaceX. Nevertheless, the distribution has changed due to Vulcan delays ULA is now only accountable for 54 while SpaceX now has 46. Having chosen the Vulcan program for the NSSL Phase 2 contract to replace Atlas V in the National Security Launch Fleet, the Air Force has made significant investments in it. The installation of the BE-4 engine in place of the Russian-made RD-180 engine is a significant redesign of the Vulcan design. However, the delays and the dummy payload plans suggest that Vulcan will take longer to replace the Atlas V in its entirety. It will also have a difficult time competing with SpaceX vehicles like the Starship Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. According to Todd Harrison, a senior scholar at the American Enterprise Institute, SpaceX will be responsible for 45% of launches worldwide and 93% of launches in the United States in 2023. According to him, SpaceX will have an advantage in the launch market once Starship starts operating that is, unless a more affordable competitor shows up. Yes, Vulcan has a lot of hurdles ahead of it in terms of how it will function going forward and what plans it will put in place. All right, space explorers, that's all we have for today on Starship's incredible progress. We're on the cusp of a historic launch with Flight 4, and version 2 promises to be a game changer. 
Leave your predictions for version 2's completion date in the comments below. Who knows, maybe your guess will be spot on. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more epic space content.